Israel has achieved a major breakthrough in the race to find a cure for COVID-19. Scientists at Israel's top institute have managed to isolate a key coronavirus antibody, which could possibly neutralize the virus. Following the development, Israel's defense minister visited the Institute for Biological Research, where the antibody was isolated. The minister claims that the antibody can destroy the SARS-CoV-2 virus inside a carrier's body. Now, the Institute is in the process of patenting the antibody formula. Once a patent is procured, the search will begin for an international manufacturer. Reports of cures and vaccines are popping up across the world. But Israel's breakthrough is distinct for a couple of reasons. The antibody that they have isolated is monoclonal in nature, which means that it has been derived from a single recovered cell, making the chances of success higher. Antibodies are proteins developed by the immune system to fight the virus, and they remain in a person's body even after recovery, which makes them key in developing not just a cure, but also a vaccine. Now that the formula has been developed, it will have to be tested to gauge its efficiency and deployability. Earlier, we spoke to Amichai Stein, a journalist from Jerusalem. Take a listen to what he had to say. So uh, the details came ju out just uh, uh, tonight, so the details are a bit sketchy, but what for, we know from the announcement of the Israeli Defense Ministry and this uh, research institute, which, which is part of the, the IDF industry, that the, they, they somehow managed to produce the antibody which can uh, kill a coronavirus uh, at least inside lab right now. Now, the big question we are waiting to see if uh, they need more trials um, in the future. They want to join other pharmaceutical companies so uh, they can really do tests, massive tests on this issue. How does it work and how much success is in this antibody? But this is a really big headline because it's the first time or the first a country that says that they find this kind of mechanism that can kill the coronavirus. Again, it's not a vaccine. It's not something that is done before, but can be used to treat people that will be ill. So this is really a dramatic announcement again. And the Israeli Defense Ministry issued this statement. The Israeli Defense Minister of Tali Bennett issued this statement and visit the Institute yesterday uh, uh, to get update on, on this. But again, it's a really big guideline, but we need to wait exactly for more and more tests uh, uh, with, again, pharmaceutical companies really to, first of all, mass test this issue and may, if, it's, if it's successful, also mass produce it.